Steamboat Geyser is located on an open, sloping hillside in the northwest quadrant of Yellowstone National Park in the U.S. state of Wyoming. Yellowstone is best known for producing two ancient supervolcanoes and for many of today's geysers, hot springs, mud pots and fumaroles. Steamboat Geyser erupted for the first time in more than three years. In the three years since, the geyser has experienced more than 100 major eruptions, spewing water high into the air. Scientists want to understand what triggers a new period of increased activity on steamboats. They don't have a definitive answer yet, but they do have some new insights. New research on Steamboat Geyser is published in the peer-reviewed journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Both major and minor eruptions occurred at Steamboat Geyser. The height of the hot springs during major eruptions has been recorded at over 377 feet 115 meters, which is the highest eruption height recorded for any active geyser worldwide. Hence Steamboat's reputation as the world's highest active geyser. Scientists conducting a recent study compiled historical records of Steamboat's major eruptions and found three periods of increased activity, including one in the 1960s that lasted nearly eight years, one in the 1980s that lasted nearly three years, and one that lasted nearly three years. Today, no one knows how long the current one will last. The scientists then looked at some of the potential causes of the recent changes in geyser activity. Changes in precipitation, which are known to affect geysers elsewhere, do not appear to show any connection with the eruptions of Steamboat Geyser during the period 1960 to 2019. Although there were several earthquake waves in the area shortly before the new activity on Steamboat, scientists do not believe that the pressure generated by this earthquake was large enough to initiate changes in the geysers. In particular, the stress of a large earthquake has altered the activity of the Daisy and Old Faithful geysers in the past. Finally, the scientists examined the relationship between geyser activity and soil deformation and associated temperature changes. In particular, ground deformation can sometimes cause hotter fluids to rise from greater depths, which in turn has the potential to trigger increased geyser activity. Between 2000 and 2019, The scientists didn't detect any major changes, more than 15 degrees Celsius or 27 degrees Fahrenheit, in reservoir temperatures, but when they looked at satellite imagery, they detected a slight increase in radiation temperature just before a more recent cycle of increased activity on the steamer. However, no changes were recorded at the nearby geysers, so something more localized seems to be at play.